Hello, happy morning to all my lovely students there. How are you students? Always be happy and have a helpful nature towards everyone. As you know that we are on chapter number 20, India wins freedom. This is your part 2 reading. In previous video we have seen the Britishers played a negative role and divided the West Bengal in Hindus and Muslims. Britishers in India, then Indians started Swadeshi movement and boycott movement. Let's move further. Students, please open your textbook. Page number 123. On that, you can have a view on the topic that is revolutionaries. Some young people felt that peaceful means were of little help and openly said that force should be met with force. In 1904, Veer Savarkar started a secret revolutionary society. Who started a secret revolutionary society? Yes. Some young people felt that peaceful means were of little help and openly said that force should, should be met, met with force. force. In 1904, Veer Savarkar in 1904, Vesakas started a secret revolutionary society. A secret revolutionary society was started by whom and in which year? So you need to answer this. In 1904. Vesakas started a secret revolutionary society. The popular early revolutionaries were Borobeto Ghosh, Vesakas, Ajit Singh. Role of Gandhi Ji. Do you know that Mahatma Gandhi played a fabulous role behind the freedom? They have worked so hard to make the India free. Some of the revolutionary thought that force should be met by force. If the British are force, we will be able to do force. But Mahatma Gandhi ji was different. He knows how to handle the people and the society. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi lovely got Babu. Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi lovingly called Babu came back to India from South Africa in 1915. He chose Satyagra and Ahimsa which means using truth and not violence to fight injustice. Jaliyamala Padma Students, do you know? Let's read the textbook on page number 123. Mohandas Kalamchand Gandhi, lovely called Babu, came back to India from South Africa in 1915. You please underline that line. When did Mahatma Gandhi came back to India? In 1915. Gandhiji fought against racism in South Africa. After coming to India, he was touched by the poor condition of the common people. Mahatma Gandhi travelled in India. They saw the society. That the society is very poor. He was touched by the common people feeling. He decided to fight and out the Britishers. But this method was different. Some of the people believed that force should be meant against force. But Mahatma Gandhi was different. He believed in new method. That is, he chose Satyagraha and Ahimsa, which means using truth and non-violence. Whenever you have heard, when we talk about Mahatma Gandhi, only two terms come. That is truth and non-violence. To fight against injustice. He appealed to the people to resist all wrong openly, peacefully and fearlessly. So what will happen in Jaliyawala Bhag Masif? Let's have a look. Massacre. On 13th April 1919, the people of Punjab gathered at Jaliyawala Bhag Amritsar to attend a peaceful demonstration. However, General Tyre ordered his troops to take
state position acquired at the unarmed public. Hundred. What happened? The people gathered at Jallianwala Park, Amritsar, to attend a peaceful demonstration. Then the journal there ordered their soldiers to attack the people which are unarmed. They are common layman people. The journal ordered that you should start firing towards the people which are there in Jallianwala Park. Hundreds of men, women, and children were killed, and thousands were injured. All Indian leaders strongly protested against this cruel act. The Jallianwala Bagh was the incident which boosted the fire against Indians. Many thousands, hundreds of the people were killed. No warning was given by the Britishers. The people was unarmed. They don't know what will happen, right? So students, now we will be moving to non-cooperation movement. Non-cooperation movement. In 1920, Gandhiji started the non-cooperation movement. He asked the people to disobey laws, boycott foreign clothes and goods, government schools and colleges. They were asked. Students in 1920, Gandhiji started the non-cooperation movement. Non-cooperation against Britishers. Not to buy foreign clothes, goods, not to go in the British schools. Okay? As to spend and leave Khadi and become self-sufficient. Although Gandhiji had appealed to all to be peaceful, some people set fire to a police station in Chauri Chora, which is in Uttar. Chauri Chora, this incident happened in Uttar Pradesh. Chauri Chora, Chauri Chora is the name of a place. Some people set that in fire. Some British policemen were there in that office. The Gandhiji instructed people to be peaceful, to boycott, not to purchase British clothes and goods. Instead, make in India be self-sufficient. Uttar Pradesh, around 22 policemen died. Gandhiji called off the movement immediately as he was against any kind of violence. The burning of police station was the best example of violence. Gandhiji immediately called the meeting. Why? Because Gandhiji was totally against of violence. He followed the rule of non-violence. The leaders who supported Gandhiji were Dr. Rajendra Prasad, Moti Lal Nehru, Sardar Vallabh Bhai Patel, Sarojini Naidu, C. Raj Gopalachai, Maulana Azam, Chitranjan Das, and Students, these were the all leaders to support Mahatma Gandhi in their non-violence. And Jabahar Lal Nehru. These were all the leaders which took a step with Mahatma Gandhi. They all believe that non-violence can help to get the freedom. So students, here we complete the second part. In next video, we will be continuing with the further chapter. Let's move to worksheet. So students, this is your worksheet. Let's meet it quickly. What do you mean by Swadesh? Second, boycott means dash. Third, the partition of Bengal took place in 1905. Who started the secret revolutionary society? Mention the name of the popular early revolutions. In which year the secret revolutionary society began? I need to add one to two more questions. Write a short note on Jagiawala Bad Messer. Next. Write a short note on non-cooperation movement. Who were the leaders which support Mahatma Gandhi in non-cooperation movement? So student, that's all for the day. We will be completing the remaining chapter in the next video. Till that, take care of your health. Bye students. God bless you.